sparks there come as a new UN climate report paints a grim picture of what the world will look like if humans don't reverse course very quickly. Some of the world's top scientists say we only have until 2030 to stem devastating climate change. And yet others, including President Trump, continue to call it a hoax. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn going 360 tonight. And Russell, the report warns of weather extremes and even food shortages. Yeah, and despite the gloom and rain out here today, one of the biggest threats to Colorado is drought. You just mentioned the phrase climate change and you're bound to set off a lightning storm. So let's go 360 and take a look at some of those views. Climate change, depending on who you ask, either does exist or it doesn't. To put it simply, it's a change in the Earth's global climate over time. Science isn't a vote. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. The threat is real. The science is real. We're just choosing to ignore the solution. It's a politically charged topic, and even scientists don't have a consensus. The report suggests we now have just 12 years to avoid damaging storms, catastrophic drought, wildfires, and rising sea levels, a monumental and historic new warning. I will bet every ounce of professional credibility I have that this is a problem. Brad Udall with the Colorado Water Institute says for our state, it translates to lower flow levels on Colorado's rivers, which could ultimately leave millions without water. What's going on right now is not cyclic. The report indicates if the world doesn't take action to reduce greenhouse gases, the planet will reach the critical 2.7 degree threshold, putting us at risk for famine, disease, and economic devastation. If you are worried about immigration, if you're worried about the economy, if you're worried about national security, you're actually worried about climate change because it's a threat multiplier for every other issue that we face. But there is also major pushback, including that from President Trump, who pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Accord last year. Global warming and that, a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? And many of those in fossil fuels say it's a scare tactic that costs good jobs. The fact is, uh, the Obama administration had its boot on top of the throat of, of the industry. That boot has been removed. The president has said we can and must protect our environment without harming America's working families. The 2030 date falls well within the lifetime of billions of people who are alive today. The U.N. says avoiding it would require cutting global net emissions of carbon dioxide 45 percent by 2030. Obviously a touchy subject, but that UN panel believes the threat is real and it can only be avoided if real changes are made. We're live in Denver tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.